coming up now, we've got Sarah Nedwick. Uh, Sarah is an actress and comedian and host of the Starlet Salon and Montclair Story Salon. She's written and starred in numerous solo comedies about the ups and downs of motherhood, including The Immaculate Deception and Baby Blues. Tonight, we're going to get an act titled WTF is Happening, uh, which I interpret to mean uh, what the fuck is happening. It is true stories and confessions from inside the quarantine quarters. I am going to turn us over to what the fuck is happening from Sarah Nedwick. Hi. What the fuck is happening? Um, hi. I'm so excited to be by myself right now. Um, are you guys by yourself? Or are you with other people? Are you quarantined with other people? Um, because on the first day, I was like, this is really special. Like I'm with my husband and my son and it's kind of like a staycation in a weird way. And we're all together and it's kind of magical. And on the second day, I was like, why are you eating soup? Why would you eat soup? Why are you breathing like that? So I can see, oh, I'm, I, I see uh, people are with their cats. Well, how is that going? I wonder. Uh, cause I think I'd appreciate cats more than I'm appreciating my family right now. It's difficult, but, um, but we're making it through. So, oh, I almost forgot. Okay. Well, just cats. There's a lot of cats. Oh, mom and three cats. What's bothering you about your cats? Anything? Are you learning new things about them? Are they doing things that... You've never seen them do before because I think that's what happens when we're in these quarters like shit happens that you never thought you'd see before. <clears throat> Let me know. Oh, they're cats are self inspiring self quarantiners master of naps. All right, I can go with that. Um, well, yeah, I'm learning a lot about my family and kind of how we're going to operate in the world. And this past week has been interesting because happy Easter, everyone, happy Passover. Um, and please just share with me in the chat what's been positive for you over these past holidays, if you're celebrating one of them. What, what's happy about these holidays? Because my husband and I have a two-year-old and it's we're at the point now where we are sharing holidays with him and, and parts of religion and he understands what's going on. So I grew up Catholic and my husband's Jewish and Christmas time was easy, right? Because we just gave Isaac a mixed appetizer sampler of religion, like the best of both. Because on the Christmas side, you have uh, presents and Santa and reindeer. And there's this baby who was born in a barn which is kind of weird, but very Brooklyn. It's like an organic barn and no goats were harmed in the birthing of that baby. And then these three wise hipsters come bearing CBD oil and craft beers and artisanal cheese. And then on the Jewish side, there's um, dreidels. I would highly recommend Elmo's dreidel if you need to understand how the dreidel works. He gives you a really in-depth tutorial and there's Hanukkah, and there's lights, and there's Adam Sandler. So we just gave him all of that. But now we're at Easter Passover, and that baby who was born in the organic barn is now a man nailed to a cross, and he looks like he could really use some CBD oil. And then there's no more dreidels, there's just plagues. Like on the Jewish side, there's just multiple plagues. So I'm kind of struggling with like what's positive about those two parts and what we should give Isaac. So maybe you guys can help me. Um, what am I seeing? Tequila, alcohol. Oh, okay. Oh, this, okay, that's great. <laughs> so we can give those to Isaac, maybe. He's two. Um, eggs, ham, digital satyrs. Okay, I like it. I can work with this. I can work with the digital Seder. Um, four cups of wine. I can also personally work with that. That sounds great. Uh, so we'll, we'll try that for now. Um, we have been doing a lot of home projects, my husband and I, during this time. One of which is trying to have a baby in quarantine. Yeah, I know. That's exciting. It's really exciting. But we're trying to do it with six feet in between us. Um, and that's challenging. 
uh, we tried to build a slingshot, but it, it didn't really work. It was technical difficulties. And then we were trying to use the Eastern method and just meditate with six feet in between us and imagine this baby coming up from the earth in between us. But that didn't work either. Um, but we figured something out. We're just gonna do it on Zoom. Yeah, you can do anything on Zoom. And so all, all we do is my husband's gonna log on another room and I'm gonna log on right here. And first four minutes are free, that's all we need. We're just gonna make a baby on Zoom. Uh, so I highly recommend that. If you can't figure out how to do a home project, just log on to Zoom and it'll work great for you. Um, another home project, I was going through my re-gifting drawer. Do any of you guys have re-gifting drawers, right? So that like if someone shows up at your house and they're like, I brought you this plant and you're like, I got you this scented lemon verbena soap. Um, it's, it's really personal to you. So I was going through that because no one's ever gonna show up at my house again. I'm just kind of here. And, um, and so I'm, I'm going through and I'm like, well, maybe I'll use that lemon verbena soap. Do you guys have anything inside your re-gifting drawers? Like what ends up in there? You do need a re-gifting drawer. Yeah, if you don't have one, actually, this is a good activity. Go through all the presents that you're never gonna use or like old wedding presents and put things in there that you can just re-gift later on. It's genius. You don't even have to unwrap them, actually. You could just kind of peek through and then see what's there and then put it aside for that time when someone buys you a gift, but you didn't have a gift for them. Um, so anyway, I, I decided to try the lemon verbena soap and it was mild. And do you ever get like a mild soap? It's awesome because you just, it's just a tiny bit. Mm and you're washing yourself and you kind of circle back. So it's not overwhelming. It's not like the Bath and Body Works. It's just mild and, and nice. And you're like washing, circle back, mm, that's, that's nice. And then you get down to those, like the, the private areas and you kind of circle back and you're like, oh, it's not, it's not so mild anymore. <clears throat> no, then you want something a little stronger. It's not lemon verbena anymore, it's lemon virginia. I had to do that. Like I had to make the lemon Virginia joke. But uh, but why do we do that to ourselves, right? When something smells bad, you kind of circle back. Or like when, when we've hurt ourselves, right? I've pulled multiple muscles in the last year of my life because your late 30s is just one long muscle pull. And so you're describing it to like your orthopedist because in your late 30s, you have like your own orthopedist. And you're like, it doesn't really hurt when I do this or like, or, oh, or this, but it's more this. Ah, yeah, that, yeah, it's more this. Mm -hmm. And then you're home by yourself and you're kind of testing it out. And it's like, no, not so much here, but more like, yeah, that, mm, that hurts. And then we keep doing it. Why do you keep doing it? That's why it hurts. I don't know why we do this shit to ourselves. Oh, anyway. I think it's just all part of this um, being alone and, and going a little bit insane. But um, I don't know. I, I hope, oh, here, I'm seeing, I just want to circle back to give you some ideas for what you're going to put inside your regifting drawer. Um, self-help books. My dad says our drawer is our house. <laughs> Old birthday cards, a grill set. Yeah, all of this. Or like anything you ever get from Bath and Body Works pretty much works. So I would highly recommend that. Um, I, I want to thank you guys all for being here tonight. And, um, just tonight, do something nice for yourself. Like right now, nobody can see you. So just take your lemon verbena soap or something else from your re-gifting drawer and maybe give it to yourself. Like what? Like what's going on with this little bear? It's a bear or a cat that's also a candy holder. And maybe you, you fill that and you just enjoy that for yourselves this evening. But um just take care of you tonight. That's the most important thing. And if you need to be by yourself, put your cats in the other room um, and, and just 
have a laugh with the rest of this evening and enjoy the awesome talent that's here tonight uh, because everyone's super amazing. So thank you for having me, friends, and best of luck. Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you again soon.